Hi everyone, thank you for uh, visiting my online school and uh, checking out what is the next class available now. I created this class at level one and two. It's basically to show you how I paint skies in watercolors. Uh, most of these techniques are wet on wet and this is how it goes. Basically you have this uh, list of all the sections, uh, lectures divided already here. Once you click on start, you start seeing all this list on the left. I wouldn't worry too much about the left side. I would mostly concentrate what's on your right side. So this is the intro and I talk about uh, the skies and how you can create clouds different ways. And there's the first video. Basically, you once you're done with the lecture, with the section, you just press complete and continue. You go to the next part uh, and here on the left you actually see the breakdown. There's sky number one, sky number two, and sky number three, and sky number four. So you have uh, four sky paintings to complete in this class and also you have an option to stay at level one where you just focus on painting skies like the background. So for example we go here painting parts one and three, one through three. And then you just press play and you can pause, you can skip, you can do whatever you please. And I talk here about brushes, everything is narrated by me. I talk through the entire time. And then I'll just let you know either in a video or here that you need to let it dry. But then as soon as we come back to it, I do say, okay, the painting is dry. And then this is where you have an option. Do you want to paint the birds or you want to leave it the way it is? So this is how you can move uh, to sky three. If you prefer to start from sky number four, and then I also share my reference photo. I give you everything that you need uh, uh, in order to create this painting. What you also find is close-up photos, close-up photos of each of my paintings. So you can examine it, how I do it, all the strokes and put it all together. So I hope you enjoy this class. And um, once you're done painting, I have a website set up for you guys. It's a student art wall. And whenever you're done, you just email me your finished painting and I put it up there. Thank you. We're going to use the background here, this sky, to recreate on our watercolor paper. So we're going to forget about the trees and the bird. We're just going to focus on the color. But first thing is wetting our paper. This is a white brush, one and a half inch by a uh, silver brush series black velvet. I'm going to dip my brush in water and I'm going to wet the entire paper. Now I do want some of that nice reddish on in the sky as well. So I'm just going to go over this area again. 